All right, what's good with you guys? It's Josh back with another video. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually edit your very own YouTube videos. I get edit the best possible videos on your channel and pretty much just improving the quality of the content that you're posting itself. Going to be going over some generalized tips as well as different things you can implement into your videos. With that being said, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And with all that out the way, let's get right into it. All right, and the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be launching After Effects. So I'm just going to be clicking this right here. Uh, let it load up. So pretty much what you would do if you were actually uh, making a video yourself, you'd go into a new project. But for me, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over here to where I have a random um, intro, for example. So I'm just going to go essentials intro. And I'm going to be showing you the different components that I actually have to my YouTube video itself. And then from there, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be kind of showing you how you can actually duplicate that into your own projects, if that makes sense. The first thing that I'm going to be covering is subtitles. Holy subtitles are like one of the most important things that you'll actually need to include in your project. So there are various different ways you can do subtitles uh, my TikToks, i just have static subtitles most of the time uh, but in my youtube videos i have animated subtitles right here pretty much all i'll do for that i'll show you guys is i have kind of like a scaling thing and what i'm actually going to do to show you how to actually do this so pretty much right here i'm going to show you we got white 150 uh size font dosis extra bold uh it's a very very good font I'll quickly show you how to do the animation. So pretty much I start off at 80, and then in the middle I have it 100, and then this one I have 100, and this last one I have 80. I'll quickly show you what the graph looks like though. Um, pretty much looks like a boing, like that kind of thing. I don't know how to describe it, but um, let me quickly show you how to actually duplicate this. So you'll have your subtitle layer, let's say, and then I'm actually gonna get rid of the keyframing. We're just gonna pretend that this is standard. So this is you with your subtitle. You've added your subtitle here with the exact same settings. And um, I'll quickly show the effect settings in a second of how I actually have my drop shadow. But at the beginning, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it to 80, keyframe it, go to a point in the middle right here, change it to 100, go one frame after, 100, go to the very end, 80. So simple, select all of them, F9 on your keyboard to them go into the graph while having them all selected still then you literally just copy this and it's like it's great i love it and it's just such a good uh animation you can kind of ease it a bit more though it's not too harsh so there are many things so there are many super simple that's how i have my subtitles done uh the next thing i'm going to be talking about actually is stock footage please for the love of everything use stock footage when you're just talking in a video and you're just rambling on stock footage can take your content to the next level so for example right here i have a thing of a guy on a laptop the website i use for this is actually pexels.com so if you go to pexels right here you can literally search anything you want for me i just search laptop and you can literally see probably find the exact same video somewhere right here just download it 100 percent free great great platform to use online i have an opacity fade into a different thing and i just have a little voiceover i just really like the way that that looks over just normal rambling and it just it looks a lot better in my opinion um and then right after i have a little animation i have me talking something you also should be utilizing in your videos are these zooms so so also the next thing i'm going to be talking about is zooms throughout your video uh so for me when i just show me talking i have a consistent zoom if you look at this little border right here we can see it throughout it zooms in and we can see the video itself zooms in uh so to do this i literally will keyframe the scale of the main piece of footage and then i'll just zoom it in consistently that is pretty much that it is super super easy and then i'm going to quickly go and show you guys what the effects i have on my subtitles are so i got two different drop shadows we're just going to go like this um these are the settings right here we got shadow passing at one shadow blur at two six and six and then the one below it i have 0.45 56 shadow blur and then just zero shift x and zero shift y that's what it looks like those drop shadow settings on the subtitles if you actually want to duplicate that that's actually uh, uh, the main thing that I have in my videos that I feel like take the content to the next level, just the subtitling and the stock footage. It's just amazing. And you know, it's just, I feel like it's kind of the highest quality content that I could actually post on the channel. And that is pretty much going to be that I'll quickly show you guys how to do transitions real quick. So let's say for example, I didn't want to do the animation on this. And instead I just wanted to transition out of the thing. Cause we can see right here, I have like a movement animation where it falls down, but um, let's Let's say you wanted to do a transition for some reason all you gotta do for that press control alt y on your keyboard you'll go to uh, i'll have some transition presets in the description for 100 percent free if you guys want um and then what i'll do is you'll get any sort of transition add it to the adjustment layer press u on your adjustment layer and then line up that third keyframe in the preset with your um, separation point between the two kind of where the footage just ends there and then just trim it down on either side so if you guys do enjoy the 
So if you guys do enjoy, and we can see that if looks almost enjoy, just as good, and it looks really, really good, and looks really, really professional. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, that is pretty much how you can edit your very own YouTube videos professionally, the best YouTube videos. Um, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, you learned something, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a ton, and I'll have the links to everything in the description that you guys need to actually pick up yourself. So if you guys did enjoy, you learned something, make sure to support me, and I'll see you guys in a future video on the channel. Peace out.